All right, so I'm back out with the Kimber again. I cleaned it and I oiled it really good after the last time I took it shooting. I've shot about four magazines through it so far with no issues. So I've got my hopes up. Let's put another 100 rounds or so through it and see how it performs, see if it has any more malfunctions. Yep, we got a failure to feed on the second round. Hopefully that was just a fluke. Seems to be okay now. All right, so one malfunction on that magazine. Let's try another one. I'm gonna drop the slide release on this and see if we have any malfunction. All right, went into battery fine. All right, got through that magazine fine. Let's try another one. And this time I'm just gonna pull the slide back. All right, went into battery. This time I was also using blazer brass and arm score instead of the PMC ammunition I was using last time. Okay, I'm trying the Kimber TAC mag that I have. So, last time I went shooting, I apparently lost the base plate screw to this. So the bottom slide plate would slide out, so I just put a little bit of duct tape on there to keep it from coming off. Doesn't seem to be affecting the functionality of it, so let's see how this magazine handles. All right, got through that whole meg fine. Things are looking better, but I think this is about the round count that I got to last time before it started malfunctioning, but I also did not oil it as much as I did this time. As you can see, there's still oil in there, so, and on the slide. So maybe that's, it just needs to be run wetter than I was running it last time. Got through another two megs, two more. I think I found the key to this thing is just to keep it more lubricated than I had it the first time, first few times. All right, that's three magazines without one malfunction. I'm gonna. Okay, just gonna mag dump this one. All right, seems the issue was just not having it lubricated enough, so I feel a lot better now. And hopefully this breaks it in even more and there will be no more future malfunctions.